So I'm standing at, this is the original entrance structure um, at State Street, which is the main entrance, and this was built by the WPA in 1936. It was actually started in 1935. And what this once was, they called them comfort stations. It was the bathrooms. So there's a men's room and a woman's room, and each one, there's a door and two windows for each, and it curves around. And um, the windows that are behind the cement are actually, apparently, they're like 25 pane windows or something. It was part of what made the park eligible for the National Historic Register, which was determined in 2002. And uh, so it's sad that they were cemented over, but the reason was that there was vandalism and there were problems with people breaking into the bathrooms and the plumbing was getting ripped put out and whatever was going on, it was just, it was not sustainable. So it's unclear whether or not these, the restrooms themselves will ever be restored. But until that time, we've had the idea, wouldn't it be nice to paint over the cemented portion, so leaving the stone intact, but to have something cheerful on the, the four windows and the two doors. So we collaborated with Media Arts Council and we are really excited because this year it's actually happening. We're actually launching a GoFundMe tonight to cover the costs for the artists and for the paints and materials that uh, we will have. There will be four panels on the windows and each one of them will be a different season. So we have spring, summer, fall and winter and they are depicting native uh, plants. The, so it's native uh, eastern woodland plants and each one of them also has a bird in it since it was donated as a bird sanctuary in Arboretum. And on the two center door panels, since we are just a pill from the concert stage, it depicts a concert scene. So there's two musicians in one panel and two in the other with these lovely native plants behind them. It's really enchanting. It was done by a Media Arts Council gallery artist. And we are really excited to have these painted in time, in fact, for our first concert this summer. And once again, we are grateful to Delaware County Parks and Recreation because, of course, we're doing this with their permission. And they, in fact, are going to power wash the doors and the windows for us in advance of painting so that, you know, there's a clean palette for the artists. And, um, and we're really appreciative of their support that's allowing us to be able to do the mural. And we're really excited to work with Media Arts Council on this.